Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, and number seven on our top 100 most anticipated international features from tw for 2021 uh, is the latest film from Ruben Ostland, his sixth feature, The Triangle of Sadness, uh, which is being handled by Match Factory. Uh, loosely, it's about a pair of models who find themselves at a crossroads in their careers, but it's a co-production between Sweden, the UK, the US, France, and Greece. Um, it was delayed uh, due to the pandemic, um, but uh, has since has completed production uh, in multiple locations, uh, we're anticipating that Austin returns to Cannes in 2021, um, potentially his second time in the competition. Um, it was shot by Frederick Wenzel, uh, who also lends the square and force majeure for uh, Ruben Ostland. Um, in Berlin in 2010, he won uh, the Golden Bear for Best Short for uh, Incident by a Bank. Uh, but since then, Ostland has uh, pretty much premiered everything at Cannes. Uh, in Un Certain Regard, uh, he uh, premiered Involuntary in 2008. Uh, he returned there in 2014 with Force Majeure, which won um, the Grand Jury Prize. Uh, or a jury prize out of UCR. Uh, it has since been remade in the US as Downhill uh, last year, starring Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Will Ferrell. Uh, the director's Fortnite has programmed him in 2011 with Play. Uh, kind of, that was kind of a breakout for him, which uh, earned comparisons to Michael Haneke. Um, and then, of course, in 2017, The Square won him the Palme d'Or at Cannes. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.